Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Valby and what I believe to be the ultimate build for her for everything from crits to tanking and not dying instantly to everything and just an all-round incredible build. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away ultimate descendants every week unlike most people his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord it's linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army so firstly what is supply moisture now i made a video about how to get this earlier on on the channel so if you haven't seen that and go and check it out it is a bit of a grind and a farm but trust me if you're going to play valby or ultimate valby this is, might still be the best transcendent mod even with the ones that are coming with ultimate valby so while on water increase skill critical hit rates skill duration and firearm attribute trigger rate however there's also a kind of hidden buff as well for firearm critical hit rate increase of 20 percent now this is a flat 20 percent so if i go into my thunder cage for instance here you can see that i'm at a 30.7 percent that's base plus a mod that increases that rate but if i stand on water you can see now that the critical hit rate goes up to 61%. That is also the base plus the 20% of supply moisture and then the modifier of the other module to get it to 61.4%. That means you are going to be hitting a hell of a lot of criticals with a weapon. And then if you have a weapon like the Thunder Cage or anything that's built into precision crit damage, this is going to just work for you so if I run up here and I shoot this Annihilator, you can see that my crits are around about 417,000 and are 220,000 to the precision points. Now, you can see how often they are popping. Still pretty good. But when I stand in water, now you're going to see them pop a hell of a lot more. The, all those 417,000, it's like double, maybe triple the amount of chance that i'm getting i even though it's like a 30 percent increase it just feels like i'm getting like a an 80 percent increase which is just diabolical for damage it's just beautiful just beautiful and that is to do with supply moisture so i tried to build around the hit rate of a weapon the crit spots and stuff but also i want her abilities to do good damage as well and supply moisture also plays into that because you obviously get the critical hit rate of your actual skill as well and a longer skill duration now valby's uh free which is called cleanup it's her main main move it's a non-attribute dimension and essentially what happens is, is you leave a trail of water behind you that damages enemies often now i'm doing about a hundred thousand on these enemies and a 384,000 crits and you can see that the crits are happening quite often anyway and the skill is also lasting fairly long and that's because i have all of the mods on that we're going to talk about now it's starting to disappear however with supply moisture if i threw out like one of these for instance and then throughout out the cleanup you should see more crits happening more often because now i'm standing in water so i hit them with the original water stood in that water while i activated cleanup and then everything i spread with cleanup does more crit damage you can see just the pure amount of you know damage that i'm doing and it's going to last longer because i'm standing on that water but if i was to do this again and hit them all and then stand in the water and activate cleanup you're going to see those crits happening but the reason why this is so good is because then i can also use my firearm while standing in water and get potentially more crits if i can aim for the head i'm actually not hitting the head very often <laughs> so you can see the sheer amount of damage that I'm putting out just by activating two skills and standing in the water, making it last longer, do more damage, more crit damage over time, and also then firearm damage. Utterly insane. So how does this work? So her moves, specifically the two that I used, are non-attribute and dimension. The plop, plop, which forms a big puddle but also causes knockdown, so it's a really good opener, especially with bigger enemies and shields and stuff. And then clean up to kind of put damage down over time. These two are both non-attribute dimension and you're going to build into that because they are the most powerful of the moves that you are using. Now, Bubble Bullet 
is also very very strong but you have to be further away the more bounces the bullet takes the more damage that it can do the problem is is that when you're on any kind of incline i completely missed that did like 450,000. if you're on an incline the bullet will not travel straight it will bounce off and go in just varying other directions so because you are using cleanup on top of enemies and you're very close to them, throwing out a bubble bullet is only going to do a certain amount of damage, like 183,000. It's still good and still viable because you're going to be in here anyway. You might as well throw it out. It costs a bit of MP, but you might as well throw it out. So it's still a very, very good move. However, it really benefits from being at range. But in the terrain of this game, the bullet will just bounce off in any direction it wants to go. So that's why I haven't built into it. However, Ultima Valby will be having a transcendent mod, which actually changes this into pretty much a straight fight, like a fireball. It will just go forward in a straight line and hit enemies. So building into non-attribute fusion might actually be able to do some serious damage with Ultimate Valby. But however, for now, we are looking at non-attribute dimension. Her other move, Laundry Bomb, is also fusion. Very good move. I don't use it very often because I'm focusing on AoE and damage over time. But it's still a very good move for crowd control. That is also fusion. So if you was to build into fusion, you would use this to activate the bubble, to suck people in, to then throw the bubble bullet at them to do damage. So that is the other route you should be taking with Valby. However, this for me right now is the best build. Non-attribute dimension, round cleanup and plop plop. So let's have a look at those modules. Now I have mid-air maneuvering. I just love this perk, but I also have a socket here. So that socket gives me extra capacity. And now I have 85 out of 85 capacity because whenever you increase the mid-air maneuvering, it adds it onto your capacity. So with, you know, mastery rank, using an energy activator and this, I have pretty much the maximum amount of module capacity in the game other than getting more mastery ranks, which is fairly impossible right now. We have supply moisture, obviously. I've enhanced this to bring it down to costing only four. So very, very good and useful transcendent mod, which is actually cheaper than most transcendent mods when you actually enhance them. So I love it. Now we look into everything else. I'm going to start with HP. Increased HP by 218% and HP collector. Now this isn't the best, most powerful, destructive build, but I want to survive. I want survivability. So having increased HP gives me more HP, obviously, and more defense. But HP collector, when maxed out, will give me 9% recovery of HP on an enemy kill every two seconds so because i'm getting close up to enemies and i'm using cleanup i do take some damage i'm a bit squishy these two are going to keep me alive for a lot longer i rarely die on valby when i'm doing any kind of content so very happy with picking these two so we have some typical mods here so skill insight for critical hit rate plus 115 percent body maxed out with a socket and we have skill extension skill duration plus 36.5 percent this makes the water last longer on varying different moves more water more ticks more damage supply moisture allows me to stand in it to get more damage off my gun so this is very very useful i then have got emergency measures but not fully up graded because i don't want to put another module slot on valby yet in case i want to use like a defensive protection mod against a void intercept mission so i need this clear to be able to have the choice of moving things around but if i was to put this up i'd be doing even more damage however i'm doing good enough damage skill crit hit rate plus 32 percent and skill critical hit damage plus 13 percent Nimble fingers, because you want those cooldowns to be as low as possible so that you can keep throwing out cleanup and other moves. As long as you've got the MP, you will pretty much be able to cycle through all of your abilities without ever having to stop. Skill concentration for skill crit hit damage of 115%. So this obviously goes hand in hand with the skill insight. These are going to give you massive buffs to your eventual damage. But we have front lines for more skill crit hit damage 64 then we look at the non-attribute specialist and dimension specialist so this improves dimension skill power by 76 percent and this is 81 percent for non-attribute skill power now there is one mod you can change here to make your cleanup do more critical damage however i choose not to use it because it will affect how bubble bullet works and the damage that can actually do and that would be dimension master so if i put dimension master on you can see that when i use this on the cleanup 
it will do slightly more damage than it was doing before. It seems significant, but it then reduces what my actual bubble bullet can do that I only hit for 200,000 from here it's usually way more so I like to cut down on the cleanup damage to keep that bubble bullet actively high or higher than it is right now but you can if you want to have full damage on cleanup put on dimension master however not for me as for her reactor you want to go with a materialized phase reactor. I go with the thunder cage because obviously I'm using that thunder cage to stand in the water and do more damage with supply moisture it gives me non attribute and dimension which is what i'm looking for and then for the intrinsic perks you want something that increases dimension or non attribute skill so you're doing more damage but i also got one with skill cooldown it's only a blue version of it but you know to get that slightly bit of improvement to skill cooldown is very useful i'm probably going to go out and try and farm this reactor to get better versions of the rolls for the intrinsic perks get them gold and stuff like that but for right now this will do but i know i could probably put out more damage if i was to get better rolls on that and that's it that's the build from in my opinion the all-round incredible ultimate valby build for normal valby anyway so ultimate valby a lot of this will probably translate to but you really should be getting on to it if you're not going to get Ultimate Valby and you just want Valby, you want a researcher, you don't want to waste money on Ultimate Valby or spend loads of times researching Ultimate Valby. This version of Valby is still really, really powerful and really good. Let me know what you're thinking down below about supply moisture builds. Do you have anything better that you feel like you could do more damage or, you know, just a better build for Valby? Let me know down below in the comments section. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.